it. That's back. Damn it. I was waiting. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to start doing it. Guys, crew of Blind Way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Rick. Eric. And we are back here with Mortal Kombat! We previously <laughs> have watched Mortal Kombat from 90... Who oh, no. decided it was from? 96? Sonya. 97? 95, 95, right? 95. Scorpion. We're gonna watch this new one. The second one. Yeah, the second one. We're gonna watch, second watch the new one. The new one's coming soon. Mortal Kombat! Uh... I didn't hear anything you said. You tell Calvin's the only one that hasn't seen this. I didn't get any of that. Did you watch the first one? I didn't. I get a little bit. All right. So with this, uh, as I was saying, we did watch Mortal Kombat. We yep. are doing Annihilation. Uh, Calvin is the only one who had not seen the first one, yep. nor has he seen this one. Yep. Mm. Um, it has been many a year since I've seen this. So where did we leave off last time, Calvin? Who's, who's alive? Um, What's gonna happen? Who's dead? Princess is alive, and she's friends with... Princess Kitana. Kitana, yeah. I need, I need my book. <laughs> my book with my names. Um, while he's getting his book, keep in mind, too, that while we watch this, we also have our full length available, which you can find down in the description, a link to Patreon, where you can find our Raw Rider tier. Watch along the entire movie with us. We're going to be watching this on HBO Max. Max. <clears throat> yep. Kang. That happened. Yes. He remembers. He's, he's, he's alive. alive. Remember? Okay. Uh, Johnny Cage is alive. Yep. Lord Raiden. <laughs> you liked his laugh and stuff, right? G- good old uh, Lamb Lambe. What did you call him? Lambert. Lambert. Um, what about Shang Tsung? Let's see Kano. Hello, baby. Shang Tsung is dead. Who's the baby in Hello, baby? Huh? Hello, baby. Did you miss me? Yeah. Uh, Who was Sonya Blade? Yes. Yes, the feathered hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Inexplicably yeah. feathered hair and new clothes. Anyway, they won the tenth tournament. We yep. saved Earth, and yep. then, bah, the fucking giant, huge man comes out of the sky. Is like, I don't the give Emperor. a shit. I come for your soul, you puny, pathetic soul. And of they're like, souls. I don't think so. Go, 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 go. Wait, Mortal no. Kombat. Yeah, thank God. How's what you start with? Holding to form. I hope the new one starts with this. Don't you? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't know. I wanted to hold off until. That's why they do this for ninety minutes. I think this is the exact same intro from the first one. Hey, no, 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 no. Perfect the no, first no. time. No, wait. Ah. Wait. Ah! Yes. And then it breaks. Remember that. It's this broken. This is the exact same intro though. Because so the rules are broken. Mortal Kombat is not about. Oh my gosh! Only to enjoy a brief period of peace. Brief. Brief. Like it was brief. They had to come back from the island. I wouldn't call it minutes, but period. Oh, this is the height of visual effects. Oh my god. Oh miniatures! Damn, look how good this looks. <laughs> look at that straight line in the back of the skybox. Oh, there he is! Foam broke! The foam. She's telling everyone how big the fish is, was that she caught. Malibu! Alright. She still looks pretty good. I think she looks pretty good. I have to look closely. <gasps> Shao Kahn, Emperor Why? Kahn, was created in six days. So too shall it be destroyed! Yes! <laughs> yes, he's so ironic. <laughs> no! What? They recast everyone! <laughs> You're alive. Too bad. You will die. Oh! Look! Look! Calvin, look! I can see it. You're not looking! The blur. He's looking hard, okay? Pretty bad. I haven't blinked yet. They spun so many times. Damn! Damn. That's a move from the Short game. Check. It is. This motherfucker. And the costume was pretty good for it. There was no chains on him before. Amazon! Dude, the key is so bad. The key is real bad. And I can't even fake the horizon being is shaking. I can't even fake it. I can't fake it. Dude, I didn't remember how this I tried was. to warn you. Man. Uh, ah, bro! Great. 
Oh, she landed so Softest hard. fall ever. These are feathered hair. That's, that was the one thing, one time thing. No, she had it, it before this. No! Don't kill him in the first five minutes! This is the part where he fell down. You belong far to me. It has begun. You thief. He stole that. Khan has opened the portal. Get out. I won't have begun to merge into one realm. Look at that wig, man. Think of it as hell on <laughs> I love this actor, though. I do love this actor. But man. <laughs> I want to hear him laughing about everything. If anyone's going to kill Khan, it's going to be me. Enough. What so did that cool. wall ever do? No, that's so cool. We couldn't even say Oh, new Sonya. I like the Sonya in this. Like, the way she looks, I think, matches Once more. Once inside the Velosphere, you can travel to anywhere on Earth in mere hours. Yeah, the Velosphere. Inner winds propel you. You'll be moving so fast, it'll be as though you're not moving at all. That does not make sense. Uh, they did it in King Kong versus Godzilla. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Ready. We Ready go. the Volosphere. Wow. <laughs> yeah, faster than I remember. They're slower than I remember. I've driven faster than that. You can't tell. It's a hot air rising from the Earth's core. Oh. And part is this energy. It's so fast, it's like you're fucking, not even moving. Dude, the fucking lower drop. How do you stop it? Wouldn't it be so hot? Shut up, Rick. He's like, Alright, cut. Cut. There go. We're in 90s FMB territory now, boys. Dude, yeah, we look are. It really smokes. does look like it, doesn't <laughs> it? He's gonna go right into it. <gasps> so much smoke. Oh, I really believe that happened. Dude, you know what? We transitioned pretty well, though. Right? There was a big flash! Right? To cover it up! But it was a good cover-up. I love no! this guy. I love this guy. He's kind of, he, like, he look at the good stuff. He overacts perfectly. Oh, he doesn't over. He acts. He acts. I can't wait to watch this scene. I literally can't. can't wait. Wait. I love movie. this guy. Who is this guy supposed to be? Don't set expectations. It's like the master. Uh, He's under attack. <gasps> and it is glorious! Yes! <laughs> the only way to travel. Raiden, do not underestimate the power of the human spirit. Spiral power! I recognize the bald guy from something. Yep. And the other guy from something else. Yep. Good job. You have won the movie. Mm -hmm. He was a punk in Terminator. Yeah. And he was in a movie called Cobra with Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. Oh, and he was Brock from Dragonheart. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. Also. And that, yeah. But I've seen we, all three of those. We need to watch. He was in Joe Dirt. He was the guy keeping Joe Dirt down the hole. It remember. puts a lotion on its skin. <laughs> I don't remember anything about Joe Dirt. <laughs> what? Yeah. But yeah, that's supposed to be Shinnok. I don't think he looks anything like Shinnok. He looks nothing from like the Shinnok. Everyone else looks pretty good, I think. You know? Sindel's hair isn't white enough. And I'm not going to lose you two. Let's get back in the ball. Oh, man. Did they fall in oh, no. love? Oh, no. Calvin. Oh, no. In the brief yeah. period of Earth Shut before up. the invasion. Calvin. Calvin. Shut up, man. Calvin! Robocop! Oh. He has dreads. They're wires. Oh, my gosh. But he looks like his, like, he looks like his. Oh! He landed it! That guy sucks. Um, <laughs> he went. That was not even close. I can't believe oh. yeah. The sound effects in this are so good. How is it tearing the air so hard? Wait, Calvin. They're clearly foam. No, wait. No, they're not. <laughs> Look! They're scared as hell! They're they uh, fan. Uh, they fan the air, Calvin! I love that they're fans. They're great. Ridiculous. They're just like the game. Oh, no. Kind of laser. Oh, he got away. Thank God, Jesus, what the man. What fuck was that? Thank fucking Christ that he did that move. How? I remember this movie so well. He can't get his ass whooped. Another rocket. Uh, that's crazy. I never noticed how he, like, came in legs. there. I always thought it was a shitty wire. Why'd you have to punch him over? Because it was gonna, gonna explode! Gonna blow up. What do you mean? Just hide behind a foam pillar! Calvin, you don't- Shut. you would have died. You freed me. You killed my older brother. Uh oh. 
princess is the key to stopping Khan's plot. They have legends about Khan's plot, which is an unprecedented rule break. Interesting. Fun tidbit about him is that he played Reptile in the first movie. Yeah? yeah. I'd see his eyes. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That is legitimately a really cool looking effect, Rick. I like, it's like pulling the moisture out of the air. Yeah. It's not so much. The only one thing is, I love the music in this. This one, the first one, the great uh, one. Return from hell! You're giving things away. Get over here! Oh, that's fucking awesome. I love the club. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> you guys can help out? No, if they get on it, the ice will break, Rick. Just jump across with one of your fancy flips. Oh, you just let him do that. He ran up him. What the fuck is that? It was a counter for a spin drop kick. <laughs> no, it was wires. Ding. Calvin, there are no wires. Oh. Oh. I suppose you can tell me that solid stone. Now they come. <gasps> Dude, that wind is moving maker transition. Oh. <laughs> what? Suckers! <laughs> I hate that he does the melting thing, because that's more of like what Raiden did. But he does have a switcheroo thing like that. He does. Oh, God damn it. He batman him. He batman him. He should have left a frozen clone. <laughs> <laughs> Replacement jutsu! <laughs> more of the earth will be destroyed. Not show any cities. No, millions are dying right now, Calvin. But let's not show it. Unto Look! I will show this abandoned. The sky's on fire, Calvin! The whole facility's going to be crashed by an extermination team. Extermination squad. He needs to know so much more. All right, all right, stand back, stand back. Let's see what I'm made of. <laughs> I forgot he rips off his sleeves. <laughs> yeah, it ain't gonna fit, man. What else we gonna do? It's like the crab that rips his own arm off. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh. <laughs> uh. Dang it, oh. Jax! <laughs> no! Oh. That's advanced yeah. technology! Yeah. To the face. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> what was that? Nanobots? I don't know what it is in the in the game he has a net. Oh. Oh. He was six feet over there! <laughs> yes! Uh, I expected him just explode. Got I only got a hit. Yeah. Woo! Those what a arms, kick. Those arms look so big, don't they? <laughs> that door looks so flexy. No! You can't eat my skin. I wouldn't just fling that stuff everywhere. I like this move. I hate that plastic bending. <laughs> Sand. We're not breathing that close to it. I'd get oh, on my oh, fuck. Hey, you know what? That looked terrible, but that's one of my favorite parts of the movie. Yeah? Yeah. I'll say, ratio to nods to the game have been extremely high. Off the charts. You Off know? Charts. Yeah. Over 20,000. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't know what the fuck that was, but, but a lot match. of stuff has been, like, just references to the game. Not even Master Yoda has references that high. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Where's the explosion coming from? Where were they? I don't like to be a dick. They didn't look good. <laughs> like, we shouldn't have... We shouldn't have watched this movie so close to it's the so, other one. No, I think it's, it makes it better. <laughs> hey, he looks good. Malibu. He's just standing there with a, a prosthetic out of his yeah, ass. That's good. Just try real hard not to look at her second set of shoulders. I do see the seams much more now. It's so than terrible. what I used to. Yeah, me too, though. I remember being like, that looks perfect. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that looks so damn good. It's fucking, fucking ten year old floating me. everywhere. Ten-year-old me just like, ooh. But he said he'd let him live, so I'm not Ray, sure. Ray, no! After the Another one of them ninjas. Yep. You are my new general queen, Sindel. Man, he just looks like a fucking 
cut son of a bitch. That's yes. <laughs> I have no military experience. You don't know that. He's a queen. Man, Cavill would have loved Stryker. Wouldn't he? He would have. I don't think he's been in any of the games that you've played. I loved Rain, even though most people don't. He didn't like made rainfall. It was like acid rain or something. Yeah, well, he called down lightning too. Yeah, I just remember him all like. I love Liu Kang in the American Southwest. I played a lot of Nighthawk back in the day too. Night Wolf. Night Wolf. Damn it. <laughs> Jesus, Rick. I was thinking of a router. Calvin corrected you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he, Nighthawk's one of my favorite characters. This is Night Wolf. Damn it. <laughs> so I was seen him a yet. joke. I thought you were talking about a different game. He summons a hawk. I thought this reminded you of a game that you used to play. I didn't know. I wasn't correct. <gasps> Look out! Oh. Beat it up! No, the camera! <sighs> didn't look too bad. <laughs> he like shakes it off. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's my animality. This guy sounds like Christmas Slater. Is that who it is? No. It is not Christian Slater. It's not. No, 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 no. Don't. I'm trying to think of who he sounded like. Not that it was Christian. Jesus. You think you're ready, Liu Kang. But if you were, would Katana have been captured? How does he know? Because he's Nighthawk. He communes with the spirits. You've got to put yourself in a dream state. Yep. Here. And just Luke how am I supposed to do that? <laughs> ah! Woo! Dream state. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your is mine. No! <laughs> See, like that was that's such a thing. To it's the best part of the movie. It's the last movie. But it's so, yeah, so it's awesome and dumb. Is it fucking snowing in the desert? Deserts get extremely the, cold there. The outlands and stuff is merging, so it could also be ash. Oh yeah. Got about whole part of the movie just came back to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jade. Just Jade. Huh? To die alone. That is my worst fear. What the fuck is happening? She, she's in some kind of suicide pact with him or some shit. Do you got katana, bro? Think about katana that yeah, you've loved for five minutes. <laughs> no. No. Oh. Dude, the snow's gone. It's because it was all just a... another dream. Oh shit! Yeah. Perfect. Oh, that was like tossed. <laughs> you have passed the test, Luke. All right. That was one thing. Was this the was thing. just another one of Nightwolf's crazy tests. Few crazy tests. Another we one. Killed each other. This is just the first. But we live. But we live. But we live. She's right. Sexy. Please accept this offering. For I do not want your death. It's a hell of a cut. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at that thing. It's got apple juice. It's a chalice. That's a hell of a cup. Yeah. Hell of a cup! Chalice in the palace. Just gonna throw it in your face, dude. <laughs> that was the squirtiest spit. Yep, it was squirty. She learned that from Reptile. If I'm a die today, at least tell me why. Nobody told me why Johnny had to die. Oh my gosh, get over yourself. And who the hell is Johnny? Right! <laughs> Jack knows. Who was that guy? I need to stretch I ain't got no toilet. I got metal things on my hands. Soon you play. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you know more. <laughs> Mud fight. Mud fight. Yes, Calvin. She really does fight much better. Oh yeah, she's so much oh, better. Yeah. Snap it off. Oh okay, sorry. He's out. <gasps> Holy shit! How did I forget about that? He's kicking his butt. I'm he's sorry, punching him. Punching punch him in the ass. That thing looks so bad. It just. I don't Why even do that? I don't know what that one was. I don't what have the answer. fuck was that? I don't have an answer for whatever that is. What the fuck was that? Hey, we got an extra million dollars. No, but we need five million to make this look good. Just do it. <laughs> I don't want to use 
Ten dollar. <laughs> right. Wow. Indiana Jones. It's a cool place. He can teleport as a lightning bolt. He had to ride in the ball too. His powers are weakening. <clears throat> but they're not gone. Powers are weakening, old man. The fuck all his candles come from. Fuck you, Eric. They weren't there. Fuck you! The gods. Only when Shao Kahn is destroyed will the future be safe. After living among the humans, do you truly believe them worth saving? More than anything I know. I don't see no street signs, no mailboxes. We still put the other guys. <laughs> this man's an elite CIA agent. <laughs> <laughs> he has no field skills. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's put this petty stuff aside and start worrying about bigger things, like staying alive. Right, the like they're wearing like night armor, almost, right? Band it on. This is a cool location. It is. It's clean. Without Raiden, it's hopeless. Raiden's here. <laughs> What the fuck just happened? <laughs> he shaved his head! That was like four cuts in there. What the fuck just happened? Where'd he come from? <laughs> no, Thunder didn't. Thunder, he it's popped a new look. in. You look so goofy. Look how he cut his hair. He looks like a young, weirder looking Willem Dafoe. Faith in yourself is all you need. Johnny had faith in himself, attacked the Emperor, died! Yeah. No one had more faith in himself than Johnny Cage. Yes! Everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything. These are peanut rocks. Foam buildings. Man, I will take all the foam buildings over some of the CG we've had. Come on. Everyone, now to run. There was a secret passageway. It was the one I used to escape. Escape or set loose? Who are you? Jade. Yeah. Who is she? Jade. But who the fuck is she? <laughs> Where is Nightwolf? Right? She just said, oh yeah, you passed your test. You ready to go into this trap? Oh, fucking three reptiles. I believe this is where Ray Park comes in. I think this is like one of his first movie roles. Ray Park is Raiden's stunt double. Look at him. Look at our boy. Yeah, baby. Spit in front of the camera. Dude, look how fucking good yeah. Ray Park is. Yes, it's him right there, right? There's, I mean, he's just as close up as yeah. the insert shot, you know? I just don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't care. He never looks happy, <laughs> does he? Well, he's always failing him. Uh, like that, like he, there you there, go. There, he's happy, look at him. Oh, good old boy. Oh, and it left. Just a good old boy. Never did no harm. He did, he didn't do harm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this fucking thing! He's a Tarkat. Thank god he didn't lift his arms and cut your leg. Right? I'm gonna fucking kill her now! <laughs> Is that part of the plan? <sighs> no! Sometimes it looks okay! Immediately gone. They didn't Damn, have to pay for that They anymore. squashed her. Ah, so quick. Come on. She is not Goro. Goro <laughs> killed 80 people. It cannot be. <laughs> you just turned 360! <laughs> <laughs> you fools. Oh my god. You've been tricked. Jade was a triple agent. <clears throat> what? I forget about Jade. Forget nothing. Wait, her eyebrows changed. They painted her eyebrows to be angry. Yeah, they did. She's the what? guy, Eric. That stupid thing is bad. Oh, dang. <laughs> He's got all kinds of ways of killing people. <laughs> it burped. Ate her whole. And it's a statue. No <laughs> this world is weird. I don't know. I don't know what those are. I don't have an answer for that one. Prepare! 
Come on, man. Oh, no. You had oh, it right no. there. Mortal Kombat. I do not want to remember you this week. It is not weak to value life. What? You should have killed me when you had the chance, brother. My brother died a long time ago. His heart, anyway. He fell. Like so. He fought three reptiles. My park. Yeah, I'm gonna make you eat that thing. Why <laughs> oh, uh, was the glass shattering? Look how many push-ups he did before the scene. Liu Kang gets me hyped all the time. Ah, man, how do you? You just. Yes! That's a move. It is. You are no match for Mataro. Hit him with his own arm. Beat him with his own slipper! Yes! Ugh. I did that in the game! All the time! Woo, that was a good kick! I'm impressed. <laughs> ah! Give me a break. Meanwhile, he can't get his ass beat. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> watch his mouth there. What? Oh my gosh. Man, I don't want to watch this. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is. What the two movies have been leading up to, this moment right here. No, it's not! Animality there. It comes down to this. It doesn't! What animals are these? One's a dragon, what? obviously. That's not an animal. Godzilla! Is that a Hydra? Oh, thank God. God damn it. Must I do everything for you? Fire and light? Yeah. So he was the air one, right? Fate of the universe will be decided as it should be. My God. Immortal combat. They drowned out the action line. That's, that's what it's been coming up to, Rick. Oh that guy's God. voice, though, is so damn good. Is. This is what it's come to. <laughs> All right? He's not immortal. Who's He's saying? Mortal Kombat! Oh, oh, oh fuck, my fresh man. Fuck this head. <laughs> I was in a dead. Oh, you know what? That's cool. They filmed it three different angles and had to oh. frame it three different ways to make it look like it hit all three times. It's great. They put him in a box! They're unmerging! Ha ha! It's giving you the power of air. You become one of us. You'd be like, fuck that. I want to stay here. I like lightning better than air. You're a family now. Except Johnny. Johnny's dead. Johnny's dead. Johnny's not a part of the thing. Oh, look, look. Now it's fixed. That's why it's different. That's an hour and 20. There's 11 minutes of credits. 11, 11. That's a lot of credits. I mean, the CGI in this movie alone. A lot of that. A lot of that. I bet you if we go to the CGI and it's going to be like two dudes from Mexico. <laughs> There's a lot of extras, <laughs> I guess, in there, too. for the other guy. <sighs> Dude, I will say, though. I wasn't ready. As far as. Okay. Super Mario does some weird shit. Yep. Right? Yeah, the yeah. Mario movie. Cameron, have you seen the Mario Brothers movie? No. Damn, you haven't seen the Mario Brothers movie? Damn it! Alright, alright. I don't want to talk to Stop the video! <laughs> <laughs> How amazing would it be if we did that? <laughs> and then we just the released the Mario, Mario movie, right movie too. <laughs> Let's cancel podcasts and just do Mario. Just do Mario Brothers. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. I know. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a long time either. I love uh, that. I'd be so down. Fun. We just straight up, we don't even do the next video. It just goes to, and we do two movies in one video. Why is this movie three hours long? I, I would love that so much. Uh, 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 it might be worth it. What's the runtime of Mario? It's only 1-11 right now. <laughs> it's like 90 minutes. Uh, I haven't seen that. I've seen this a bunch of times. I haven't seen that a bunch of times. I bet you I've seen that I've, twice. I've been wanting to watch the Mario movie because you guys always make references yeah. to it. I've seen them all a bunch of times. I just haven't. Yeah. <laughs> I praised the last movie quite hard. Now, the last movie, I think, is pretty good. Yeah, hell yeah, it is. But the, what I was going to say, though, Especially is... Especially a comparison. The Sorry. one thing is, like, yeah. some video game movies uh -huh. have... The, the biggest issue with them is that yes. they have no connection to the source material, right? Yep. Which is, like... 
well, this is this movie. And sure. like, well, what about this, 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 you yeah. know? This one, though, as far as, like, per minute nods to the game, there are. The movie, so many, spends an hour <laughs> and 23 minutes going, it is. It's, it's just nodding, <laughs> nodding to the game. To the game. <laughs> With that said, according to IMDb, Ed Boon did not like this movie. <laughs> no? How could you? Did Why? he do Scorpion Screams? I don't think he did. Damn it. This is like 3% on Rotten Dude, Tomatoes. Dude, he had the best right? scream in this one. Suckers! Suckers! <laughs> Only he did that. Fuck. <clears throat> like, this has the same, similar problem to Street Fighter, I feel like. Yeah. Where, like, they just needed to throw everything in there. Mm. Doesn't matter if it makes sense. You just no. gotta throw it in. Calvin, have you seen Street Fighter? Well, they also... No. They ah! also... Ah! They also ah! threw ah! shit in there that didn't... Like, is the dragon big lizard thing in the games? Animalities are in the game. Yeah, no, I know that. Shao I meant does the... not have one in... Huh? It says Ed Boon did use Scorpion's voice in this. Ha <laughs> ha! Sucker! So maybe he did say sucker, sorry. Good. Suckers! That makes it so much better. We saw Ed Boon at E3 one year. I can't believe I didn't ask him to say sucker. <laughs> well, How we, amazing would that have been? We were at a bar with him all night. I know. How hey, amazing would that have been? Can you say suckers? Can I record my phone and have his like a ringtone? Suckers! I would pay him. Money. Every time you get a, t- Out of my... a text message. Suckers! Suckers! But you could not play as Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat 2. Like, when did this come out in relation to, like, Mortal Kombat Trilogy or 3? I don't care. Uh, Mortal Kombat 3 must have come out because it's the new Sub-Zero. This was 97. Yeah. Mortal Kombat... Well, this came out after, like, SNES stuff, right? Calvin, why they're looking that up? 64 was Trilogy. Mortal Kombat 1 and 2 was on, like, SNES and Sega. Mortal Kombat 3 was on Sega Genesis and SNES as well. Okay. So So it must have come out around Mortal Kombat 3. Why are you guys looking that up? I think it's important. Calvin, who has not seen this movie, how'd you feel? This was... Especially comparing to the last... in a bad way. (laughs) Many times. Did you have fun? The first movie was ridiculous in a very good way. Agreed. This one was, it was real bad, yeah. but I enjoyed it. So bad it's good. So bad it's... That's why I have to watch I would this say one more. It's, it's not, it doesn't make it good, it makes it enjoyable. Oh, it's so Every good. time we see Nightwolf for the last time, I can't believe we'll never see Nightwolf again. Never again. It doesn't <laughs> make sense. There is a lot of, like, you see a character, yep. and then you don't see him. What the fuck like, happened to Sub-Zero? Yeah. There is a weird, like, I don't know if, like, like Nightwolf, Sub-Zero just vanished. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah I know, but they're like, hey, we need your help. It's like, all right, well, let me fight. And then Scorpion came out, and then he gone. Which is almost the same thing as, like, Nightwolf. Like, Nightwolf's there, knocks him out, and then he's just gone. Now, is that, like, Jade killed him and then took his place to interrupt his testing and stuff? Or did Nightwolf just leave, and that's part of the test is what Jade does? What like, was the third test? That's the thing. Like, they don't go into a lot of that. Like, a lot of those things, like, for this being over the course of, like, six days... Because they say, in yeah, six, days, yeah, six days, right? At, at the end here, they're like, we have an hour left before yeah, the yeah. world merge. So you've had, like, a week with these characters. The world but was created in six this, days. In this, so, too, will it be destroyed? In this, like, hour and 20-some minute movie, like, yeah. it doesn't, like, you don't get a lot of that story. No, it like, feels like one continuous day because it starts out it's dark, and then you get, like, daylight, daylight, gets darker, darker, like in the first and now movie, it's nighttime, and the movie ends. Well, like in the first movie, they introduce the characters and they yeah. let you know, like Sonia's on this mission and yeah. she's a cop or CIA agent or whatever. Like Liu Kang comes from this place. Yeah. But like they introduce so many characters in this movie, but yeah. they don't tell you about any of them no. except that Sub Zero is the younger brother of the other Sub Zero. Yeah. Which is true. That happened in the other one. More Kombat Three, by the way, was two years before this movie. Okay. And this was ninety seven. So. So but, like, I, I I can't not get past this point though. Like. Later in the movie, he's like, hey, I got three questions, you know, to the gods. He asked the three questions, right? During the Nightwolf thing, he says, you need to learn three lessons to feel your animality. Lesson one, courage. Courage. Lesson two, Jake came out and tried to get him to sleep with her or Lesson something. Lesson two is probably like loyalty. And he's like, no, I can't. Or faithfulness or, or something along those lines. Sure. Right? This will help him feel his animality. Purity and Lesson three. Belief in oneself. Is it? Maybe. And they never came out and said there at the third mm-hmm. lesson. Love of family? He just was getting his ass choked, and he's like, I'm going to turn into a fucking dragon. I did it! Eric, yep. lesson three was inside of him all along. Maybe. No, I don't know. I don't have an answer for that one. Like I said, there's a lot of story beats that don't hit out. You know? Yeah. But, and, and then there's, there's just a lot of references to the game. And I feel like that's what they were going for. Like, let's make some shit. 
Yeah, if you don't know the game, like... Something's just come out of nowhere. You have no idea about anything like, that, that like, happens no. in this movie. Cyrax no. is, like, eating your the body, like, yep. net that he shoots out. You're just yep. kind of like, what the fuck is that? His name is Cyrax? Yeah, like, wh- why are there robots now? They are robots sure. with dreadlocks. Smoke? Now, the one thing with smoke is that smoke actually has Sector's missile. Yeah. Because <laughs> Sector opened Sector's up and shot missile. a missile. Smoke, the robot, had a claw that came out and grabbed you. Dude, when Liu Kang jumped away from that missile by going around it backwards, that was the height of the movie. <laughs> Um, certainly the height of wire use other I, than the scene with Scorpion and Sub-Zero. I like that there's some other weird things too, like like in the games, Jack's arms are metal arms. They're well, not like yeah, they're not he, prosthetics on top. He's not of wearing sleeves. And similar yeah. to the trailer we saw too, like Jax in the game loses his arms. Yeah. And replaces them with metal arms. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas yeah. this one is like he gets like these It's not like a weird metaphor for steroids and like performance enhancers. He gets like drugs. strength enhancers. Yeah. Metal arms. Yeah, and, and his like arc in this is you don't need those. Things. Hey, everything I need right here. You know, yeah. it's like I, what you're st- that's that plus strong. I definitely need steroids to outthrow <laughs> a any, any like <laughs> baseball player. <laughs> yeah. Now, like the thing that sucks is also the one thing a lot of recasting that they had to do. Oh. Right? Yeah. yeah. So like, like yeah. nobody was the same. Luke I don't. Kang. I don't know why. Katana. Uh, Lambert didn't come back. That's it. Uh, I think. He was very yes. much losing his eyesight by this point. Mm. It's possible. I know the Johnny Cage actor from last time um, read the script and decided not to come back. Good decision. Well, um, understandable. The, uh, the Too girl, bad you will die. The girl who was Sonya Blade was busy with another movie, which I think was the I Know What You Did Last Summer. I'm fine with that yeah. one. I think she was doing that. Um, the this previous Jax, I think, was yeah. having health problems yeah. and actually passed in 97 or Jax, something. Yeah, Jax does appear in that first one. Um, hmm. Dang. So he was sick, and that's why gotcha. he was uh, recasted for this one. I don't know if um, I that actor with these lines would have melted. I don't know either. It might have been a different type of character and stuff, too. I laughed. <laughs> so Like, I don't even have any toilet tissue. <laughs> I need to use the restroom. I don't I know who these guys are. <laughs> I have no fucking clue what's happening. I had this metal thing on my hand. <laughs> and then when he says when the CG creatures are fighting, like, no, I've seen everything. <laughs> what a metal line. This has to have, if not the worst, some of the worst CGI in any theatrical movie. Sure. Like, there's some really bad stuff out there for, like, direct-to-DVD sci-fi movie. Mm-hmm. But, like, for theatrical movie, yep. it's got to be way, way up there. I mean, look, okay, the beginning of this movie where it had I all the guys. I want to see those eyebrows, by the way. Oh, Jades. okay, yeah, we'll definitely go there. <laughs> but, like, these shots. Look at this key line of his arm right it's, here. It's, We're at 429 in the movie. I just randomly went dude, to yeah. a shot. His Didn't arm. even have to look for it. Yeah, look the key arm. is so terrible, you're just losing part of the actor. Like, his bicep it's feathered is like crazy. Than mine. But, it's ridiculous. But that's on a pause image. In motion, it's got to look better, right? No! It doesn't. <laughs> it looks like a skeleton. His arm well, is so tiny. The really bad one was Raiden. And that's Shao Kahn. Yeah. yeah. The and really his bad one was Raiden. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I, HBO Max is Just turned not out. letting me show. Okay. That's right after the... Right. Th- Every oh. time with fucking... What was her name? Look at those shoulders. Shiva? This is the, one of the better shots. I don't think those are her shoulders. They're not. So it's only this hand and these shoulders. Is that a woman there, standing there. behind her? No. It, it's her. No. It's her. It's those arms again. They just. But they're not as muscular. They're, 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 no, they're just floating on there. It's funny. They're just floating there. They're not behind them. There's like a little it's cut a digital effect. that almost looks digital out of here. But yeah. then you see the arm like right here move. But the weird thing about them is that they come from like. Her boobs, yep. which yeah. make them look like shoulders. Yep. <laughs> you know what? Do. Calvin talked about this with he should have more pecs. She should have four boobs. <laughs> that <laughs> doesn't track. It just happens that breasts are on top of the pecs. Also, she still have the muscles to operate the look, arm. Look, look at the key. Look guys. at his arm. Look at the key. One arm has a bicep of look like at this light 20 spill. inches, and the other there's, is five. There's a light in a, uh, in a lens flare, but it doesn't affect any other part of the frame. What happened there? Like, <laughs> look at that. Like, <laughs> look at there. Yeah. I know. Yeah. What's, when, it, what's it going on? It's, it, this is a. I, I sympathize. Okay. This is a poor roto artist that is given. Hey, can you do this? And he's like, no. And it's like, we'll give you a, a thousand bucks a shot. I don't want to try. And then it's just not enough money. It's not enough time. Literally, there's a frame in there where the temple behind Raiden disappears for a second. 
Like, it's just real bad, man. Look at the horizon. It's shaky. Like, crazy. Yeah, the like whole... Like, the clouds are back to yeah. going like this. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Because they from, can't track From, like, four minutes to five minutes, there's so many things, like, just yeah. them... Because they have to... They have to just trace out the whole thing. They, yeah. uh, like, could they not have done green screen? No. Like, couldn't they have done a set and just put green screen around everything? No. I think part of it is because when Shao Kahn, when he first got flipped and he was standing up and Raiden was walking towards him, you could see through his arm. Like, that's not... That's not a roto thing. Like, an oh artist would roto God. through someone's arm. Oh, my God. Did you guys see that? What? Like oh, wow. It's loud. Loud. Yeah. Like, is it, that cloud and that cloud is yeah. not the same cloud. It's just a straight skybox line. They're like repeating the texture. Yeah. <laughs> you see how bad that was in motion? Yeah, that was pretty rough. Like I said, it has to have some of the worst CGI in any theatrical movie ever. There's like, just don't have a sh- just don't have a stormy sky. Yeah, you're right. There's another one. Like, just just don't have a stormy sky. One of the things too that I, I kind of dislike in the movie is that what we had in the first movie. Yeah. Like, especially Sonya Blade, I feel like they were tracked. Like, a lot of Sonya Blade's, like, character, like, story arc was supposed to be that she's supposed to ask for help, you know? Yeah. She's not supposed to go it alone all the time. Mm-hmm. And then this one here, they kind of revert her back to being yeah. like, I don't need help. It's like, no, you gotta go find your partner, Jax. And, like, there's this whole yeah. thing. And yeah. then she come, it comes back to her being like, Jax, help! You know, I, there's, like, that finally ask for help thing, huh? It's like, that was her story last time, though. Why do yeah. we have to repeat that story beat? Yeah. Um, kind of similar, I guess, with Luke Kane a little bit. Maybe, maybe like, not to I the don't same know if I'm extent. Ready. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Not to the same extent as the Sony. Well, well, I mean, it's, it's it's everybody story. tells him, hey, you gotta do this. He's like, what? And they don't tell him, and then he figures it out. Well, the thing with Liu Kang is even crazier. Because at least Sony, like, Johnny Cage dies. Yeah. And so she's like, well, I can't attach myself or trust anyone ever again because, like, this person I care about died, and I don't want to experience that again. Sure. But, but with Liu Kang, like, he starts off in that conversation with Raiden mm-hmm. of, like, I can do this. Yeah. And then he immediately switches to, yeah. I can't do this. And, like, nothing changed for him at all. Well, I mean, he says, like, I, I mean, I won Mortal Kombat. And they're like, it doesn't fucking matter. He's like, what? That's what, that, the yeah. whole movie in, was in about the first that. conversation that Raiden had with him, Raiden was saying, like, yeah, but yeah. the rules are broken, so none of that matters, and you're not strong enough. You have to do these things. And that's when he starts doubting himself. You know what doesn't make any fucking sense to me at all is the fact that this break of the rules is unprecedented. Like it's never happened. There's no way. Like, but there they, was a legend. Risky, but there was a fucking legend about how to fix it. Well, there was Jade, a legend. Maybe look out for this motherfucker with his plan. But Jade was lying. About no, Ray. that was Sub Zero, my friend. Sub Zero said the legend said that yeah, Katana's yeah, the key. Right. Sub Zero, he could have also been a double agent. What? See, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the legend had to do more with uh, Sindel and some different things, and not specifically about Outworld taking over Earth or something. Like maybe there's like it's a, there's a legend, but they're adjacent to legends. So the, I, I pay attention because I've, I've thought about this before. Sub Zero says the legend is that Katana is the key to stop Khan's plan. Khan's plan, like. Is Khan's plan in the legend? Is he assuming the legend's referring to Khan's plan that's currently happening now? It's or is very Khan's confusing. plan to take over uh, Sindel? Yeah. Well, I think that also relates to the last movie, because a lot of the part of the last movie was about taking over her old world, mm-hmm. but like he couldn't kill her. He, had, he needed her to help take over everything, right? So like, The Emperor's think, adopted daughter? I think that kind of tracks with the same idea of, like, well, we need to just make sure... we got to ha- keep Katana on our side, because Katana helps for everything. Mm-hmm. You know, if his plan is just to take over everything and own all the realms, we can't let him have Katana because that helps him with that yeah. for some reason. I, I feel like the language is specifically Im- implying that the legend is pertaining to this event that's happening in this movie. Maybe. It I mean, it just depends what you take Khan's plan as. I mean, yeah. the script forgot about Sub Zero. I don't doubt that they forgot what he said. As sure. Well. Dude, the thing they tossed him with, like the brother and whatnot, like that's just like the reasoning for bringing him back. But yeah. then they have the Scorpion just come back. Like they don't reference that at all either. Like yeah. brother. Yeah. Is he just from hell? <laughs> like, what? what how, how's that happen or anything? The other ones, like the robots and stuff, like, robots. at least those are just new guys, you know? Like, well, I've never seen them before. Here we go. We got these guys now. Yeah. Um, Although, at least in some of the Mortal Kombats, like, Sub-Zero and Scorpion become the robots. Um, yeah. At least, 
at least in some stuff. Like, it's still, like, those robots are people that were ninjas, yeah. and then they were turned into that. Like, Smoke was a ninja before, and you can also play the the human Smoke and the robot Smoke in, like, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, and I think Mortal Kombat 3 or something like that. So, that one guy that I'm like, ooh, the fuck is this? Why is he in the final battle? He, like, Air melted. Man? Yeah, he melted and made, like, a whole another character. I just like, assumed, always assumed, like, oh, that guy's two guys in one, and that's his move. If I mean, that's Noob Saibot, he's weaker than the guys wearing the black robes in the beginning. Yeah, I'd probably say so. Because he took one punch, and yeah. he was out of it. Well, it was Jack's uh, punch believing in himself. I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> it could be a mixture of a few things. I think Rick's right in that Air Mac, like took soul somehow or something along those lines. Yeah. yeah. Um, Noob Saibot, though, also could make like a clone of himself, like... Like chase after you, grab you, and throw you, and stuff like yeah. that. So like that was one of his things. Was like yeah. he was kind of a mixture of some ninjas and stuff. Gotcha. But maybe it's a mixture of those to like. Maybe that's a mixture of like Air Mac taking souls, but also like Noob Cybot being able to make a clone, kind of thing. So like he took the soul and made the clone of Noob Cybot, which might not have been at full par of like what a normal ninja would be. Yeah, because it was just Ping Pong and Sonya back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. They were just there hitting. I remember I hated this movie because like Rain was one of my favorites when this came out, and he just gets chucked in the fire. He just hits him with yes, a fucking yeah, hammer no, no. in the fire. God damn it! I at, love Rain. After ah. after just being able to toss out the names Cabal and Striker of uh, being Earth's <laughs> Earth's heroes or warriors or something like that, yeah. which Cabal I never really noticed as like being like a hero because I always thought he was kind of more bad. But Striker, I think Calvin would like his Striker in, in the Mortal Kombat games to use guns and grenades and shit. Yeah, like you would be fighting, he just pull out a gun and be like, Brrr, and then he go up and start punching you. And he would just chuck grenades at you and stuff. Like, that that was his powers. His powers were weapons. <laughs> he was Master Chief. He wasn't like Luke Kane, who's like, Puta! and then he shoots a fireball, you know? Right. He wasn't any of that kind of shit. He just was like, well, we, we did have a lot of their powers, except for Luke Kang. Like, he didn't really get the bicycle kick or the, no. the fire this time. He got the bicycle kick last time. Yeah. The closest yeah. to the fire we got was last time when he did the double hit. Yeah. Um, he got his animality. He turned into a but goddamn also, dragon. But it also wasn't his animality. His animality in like the games, I think, Isn't was like a, a, tiger? a long dragon thing, oh, I okay. think. Yeah, it's like a Chinese dragon. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm still not sure if that's supposed to be snow or ash, but if it is supposed to be snow... It's snow because it's all cold like and a, she's like... Whoa. I guess. Yeah. yeah. There was no breath, breath but you sure. It bounced off of him. <laughs> oh, are we looking at our eyebrows? Yeah. Oh, are they here? No, I just no. was looking for reference. Yeah, yeah, we need to see them normal, right? And then... So there? Yeah. So she just has eyebrows going... Shh. Well, yeah. Um, uh, uh, some of the other shots, too, like, they're kind of drawn, like, just normal eyebrows. Like, oh, like I feel like they're, they're just kind of like straight. Yeah, I noticed there. I was, like, cause I was like, wait, did they only do angry eyebrows during the reveal of her being bad? But in that, I think in that scene she did have them. I was trying to find I was like, I'm sure she had just... An eyebrow that went up and then arched at one point. But when she's revealed being the bad guy, oh boy, it's in this scene. They're right? even bedazzled, I think. Back more. Yeah, like look at her. Yeah. Those Angry eye. Like, like they are so much more, you know? They shaved her eyebrow when yeah. it goes down and took the eye or the, the eyebrow pencil. Like to up. make her look more evil. So I can't believe yeah, like just sh- Shiva, this. they just squish her. They did they, her dirty. They didn't want to do her arms in a fight. I guess that's probably it, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Like Mataro. Right. They are... didn't build like, a suit. Oh man, no, before it's, that? It's, yeah, yeah, like I said, it was before that. Like most so of Mataro's fight is a close up where you can only see the torso. Ray yeah. Park did one of the Tarkatans. Oh, yeah? Did he? Yeah. Makes uh, sense. It's real good. Like, why do they have to have Baraka like, shake his face when he comes in? Because then you can clearly see the mask just like wiggling. Like, yeah. Her eyebrows are just fucking real normal. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, well, and she her has hair's the... down too. But yeah, but on, still, you can see. It. Later on, they pull her hair back. I do. and then they just yeah, eyebrows. It's real weird. According to IMDb, 54 flips between front flips, back flips, and side I, flips. I believe it in this movie. Oh, I thought you meant per shot. No, no, <laughs> like per, per second. Only <laughs> every time Shao Kahn went anywhere. That's like they <laughs> cut him like Shao Kahn. Anytime that yeah. Raiden was fighting anybody. Well, Raiden, yeah, but that was good <laughs> shit. I mean, yeah, it was good shit. I know those flips. Ray Park. I love back. those flips. No, we should go back to the one Raiden one where they're like cutting six times as he's. Oh my it god! It was I'm it was here. a little. Uh, he shows up and it's like, yeah. and then he just appears in the sky. <laughs> okay, so Raiden jumped from the temple, right? Um, he just comes out of the fucking sky. I don't know. I think he, he jumps out of the, the temple. temple and then he jumps down to them. Three cuts. There were three cuts. Right? Yeah. There's yeah. nothing, well, and unless then he's you, there. Then there's a cut. I yeah. think. I think what they do is they have him there flipping, and then they repeat and then, that they again. They do another cycle, right? Of flipping. 
Yeah. So there's... The first cut is a blank slate. Dude, and he just appears there. He doesn't yeah. come no, from anything. No, he anything. just appears out of thin air. He appears out of thin air about 20 feet ahead of him. Appears. Yep. He does his flip. And then they repeat the flip. Yep, cut. And then repeat the there's flip. There's a cut there. And there's a cut. And then they... Cut. There. Yep. Right there. Right there, yeah. The color of his jacket changes because I'm of the lighting bit. changes. <laughs> a tiny bit. And then that's it. Not good, guys. I love Harry, but the, like the only Dude, cat. Uh, that's how I knew him. him. What? That's how I knew him. Oh, oh yeah, right? me too. Yeah, definitely. But like, I'm glad they recast Sonya because she's just such a better fighter. It makes yeah. me sad that she has to have one of them in the mud pit or whatever. I got yeah. I think they did Sonya a little dirty. I mean, it's the '90s. <laughs> mud pit. You know, it's the '90s. She had to be the damsel in distress with the feathered hair and the and the slave outfit in the first one. And then here, she got a sweet ass fight when she was going to get Jax. That fight in the like the CRT room is awesome. Yeah, like it's legitimately awesome. She gets that badass moment. Where, <sighs> yeah, look terrible, her, but it's her, awesome. Her kiss of death. Because that's a move she has in the game. That's fantastic. Yeah. Good for you. But yeah, one of her better bigger fights is against a fucking I don't know who the fuck that was. Melina. No name. Did nothing. Yeah. It was Melina. Not, no one. I didn't know play the games. I, I don't know who the fuck she was. <laughs> that was. Girl X that was there to fight Sonya in mud. That was Melina. And you know that there was fucking guys being like, oh my god, we're gonna go watch that but what's being filmed. In the, new, in the new trailer, you were like, oh, it's Melina. In this one, it's no. that's Melina. All I said was her mouth is fucked up. Look at her teeth. That's all I said. <laughs> go back and check the tape. That's true. You did say it. I know what I said. Up. I love these reptile guys. Like, one, like, when they jump over and the guy's like, like, they're just traveling, yeah. <laughs> He's like, Dodging behind the pillars and shit. This guy's like, Ooh. yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get you. But yeah, this one, the, the the choreography's not great, but Ray Park kills it. Like that's just elevating shitty choreography. Look at him. Look at our boy, man. Weren't there three reptiles? Yeah, there's, there's, another were. One, there's another one somewhere else. And then he only beats one. And they make no attempt to hide that that is not. It, like, that's that's Ray Park. That's oh, yeah. definitely Ray Park. I mean, so fucking young. Yeah, he looks like he's sort of younger than the other guy. Spin and put your foot up. <laughs> no, there's one. Yeah, there's one up here that's pretty close. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. This great. shot. So this shot. See how close it is, and you can clearly see that's Ray Park. They cut to a shot that is barely closer, <laughs> and yeah. it's him. You know, <laughs> clearly not the same person. But like, it's like more here. Ray Park. Yeah. Ray was, Park's face in this yeah. fight than they do of Harry's. Yeah, it's really weird. And the reason we're calling him Harry is because Rick and I reacted to Dexter. Yes. And that's Dexter's dad. Yeah. Harry Moore. I like how like he was talking, you're like, is that Harry? And Rick's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to wait. Oh my gosh. The uh the Dude, I would have loved if they had <laughs> the first guy and Ray Park doing his fighting, and then he just ended like Oh, Christopher Lambert. Yeah. Uh, that would have been great. Yeah. yeah. Like, I felt like Harry feels much more fatherly here, which is kind of what the story calls for. But I, I like Christopher's, like, god of mischief almost feel. He feels yeah, more like uncle god of mischief. Sort yeah. Of. yeah, well, he has that one moment where he's like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, no. he cares for him and stuff, but yeah, he, there's definitely a separation. Whereas here, he literally becomes immortal. Yeah. yeah. I think this movie is not good. <laughs> I enjoy watching it, especially with you guys, but I legitimately love after the animality bullshit, that is so bad. Uh, I legitimately love sh like Shao Kahn noticing that he's bleeding, and he's like, Father, I don't understand, like a child. And he's like, I told you there'd be consequences. Dude, you're immortal. And Liu Kang's like, yeah, motherfucker, welcome to my world. And then there's two guys come out. And yeah, it's one the, guy's it's, voice is so yeah, yeah. The fate of the world I, will be decided as it should be. Immortal! Mortal God! It's the best fucking thing they've ever done. I, I, I legitimately will be at home and think about that moment, go up on YouTube, watch it, and go to sleep. Yeah. You <laughs> go, go to sleep, sleep after that shit? Yeah, yeah it's so good. The one, it's so hype! Yeah, but it, feel, it makes me feel like home, you know? The one thing that kind of sucks is that they, like, they do that, and they go into the music, yeah. and then, like, they stop doing the music. Well, because Luke is getting the shit beat. And then they start doing the music again. And he's just fighting again, you know? <laughs> but then they stop the music, and they change it to other music. Yeah. Some yeah. point in it too. Yeah. Don't worry. I, I love that moment, but the first movie when the when they use the Mortal Kombat song there in the fight with the sorcerer and Liu Kang, it's just better. 
It's yeah. mixed better. It feels more epic. This one, just like, I can't just. believe we just watched these two fucking polygons fighting each other. <laughs> no, yeah, that part is a little crazy. Like, they have extreme close-ups. Well, and the weird thing that Dude, you see- Chao Kahn's face, when he transitions, is so fucking... Weird. It's so fucking bad. Like I said, like, watch is. his mouth. Watch what they do to his he mouth. He like a cone head at first. Yeah. yeah, he does. I was like, what is this? They both, they both their transitions are weird. All right, there's the close-up. Super Look grainy. at the grain. Mouth is fucking, it like, it opens, and then it opens, and then it just goes, blah, and his whole face is gone, you know? His mouth turns into their mouth because yeah. he just eats his face. Like, oh. go back to the dragon. Oh, no, dude, the grain is bad. Look at the grain. It's bad. Yeah. It's like floppy disk. Yeah. It's, it's so real bad. bad. Now yeah, I want to when, pause it right Like, when they're starting. stretching his texture, it looks bad, but not as bad as the intended effect. When it switches <laughs> completely over Look at this. <laughs> to the dragon head and it starts shooting up, it's so bad. Now, what's worse, that or Cooper? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a fucking elf. What do you think he was told directive-wise? Like, <laughs> Just, like, like scream. All right, I need and, you to, like... Hold your head as still as possible. You've never orgasm sh- harder. No, I, I imagine it's like you need to try to like over time stretch your oh face out gosh, as much as you can. That so looks like bad. a Tim Burton thing, doesn't it? It kind of it, it looks a little like Koopa's transformation, but somehow even worse. Oh, yeah, like that so thing, bad. like a trimmer, but worse because that was real. Oh, like so they were real bad. trimmers. It looks like. It looks like someone just invented a computer. It's like, can we do anything with this? And they tried this, and then they're like, nah. Give it a couple more years. Throw the trash. <laughs> <laughs> so, the the one guy we have, they only mentioned his name once. Yeah. Was Shinnok, Shinnok, which was a big point. Of, what does he look like in the movie? In the, in game? the game. In the game. Well, I guess I mean the I hard thing is. I remember a fucker in a robe. I don't know if I remember him in Mortal Kombat Three. He's in four. He He's is in four. Player. They didn't have four yet. Yeah, they didn't have no. four. No. So he was made, and then I think they mentioned him in three, but you do not fight him, and he is not a playable character. Okay. He does not look like... Shinnok he... is introduced in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, first in Noob Saibot's biography as an unnamed, evil, mysterious, fallen elder god who is worshipped by a faction called the Brotherhood of Shadow, then Ultimate is identified by name in his in his ending. Okay. But what does he look like? like does this. he have any view? Because later, like... Here he is in versus mode. This is what I know of him in, yeah. like in later stuff. It was more yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Now, they were supposed to, originally the plan was to add, my phone's almost dead, so I can't look it up. They were supposed to add in Quan Chi to the end of this movie. Who is in four. Who is in four. Um, they were going to add him in, uh, they cut him out, but he apparently is in some like overseas posters and stuff too. Oh yeah. Where you can, so you can find out what he looked like, I guess, or what the plan was going to be for it. Quan Chi. Quan Chi was a sorcerer. Yeah. He's known in some various later games for sure. He's not too prevalent in the earlier games. But he's like a sorcerer and like known to work with Shinnok a lot. Gotcha. Um, they were looking at making a third movie, okay, which would involve Quan Chi as like one of the main villains of it, but would also resurrect Johnny Cage. So there was some points there that they were looking at doing. Huh. Uh, is that what he was gonna look like? Yeah. Man, he looks a little Hellraiser. Oh yeah. Kinda. Yeah, he does. I mean, it's kind of what Quan Chi looks like. You know what bit. this movie needed? Yeah, it's not. Well, and. You know, other than maybe Shiva. Like, I don't think any of the costumes were too bad. No, I think the... Uh, this movie did not need more shit. I'm sorry, it didn't. No, I, I get I'm you. I'm glad that guy's not in there. I mean, I imagine it was going to be tossed in the end to nod towards, like, a sequel or something like that. But Like, Cyrax know. is clearly wearing, like, catcher's armor and not... Is... You know, he, he's not a robot. Is this guy, like... I don't know. Like, like, you go from sorcery, and then the fucking Emperor's here, and then do you go back to sorcerer? Um, like it shouldn't like maybe I mean I think the idea was going to be Quan Chi and Shang Tsung in the third movie right. where Shang Tsung is a sorcerer he has souls yeah. resurrections and stuff are happening so like you bring back Johnny Cage and Shang Tsung and Shang yeah. Tsung's so fucking good anyway so sure. you do that and that's so much better already if you know? it's the same actor I don't give a shit what happened oh yeah just bring him back whatever <laughs> bring back four of them yeah, cut his hair. <laughs> yeah, have him give, give him angry well, eyebrows. You imagine him with angry eyebrows? It'd be fucking frightening. We do get two pretty great villains. They're oh, in Hawaii. They're in Hawaii. Yeah, I didn't realize they're in Hawaii. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't notice that. Jax went to Hawaii to get those arms. All right, sorry. Like yeah. Shao Kahn is better, but I or Shang Tsung is better, but I feel like Shao Kahn does a pretty good job in this movie too. 
Yeah, you, you know what? He, he has very some, well. He has some real bad lines. He does. Some of his delivery is not great, but he commits to it, and I fucking I buy it. Yeah. And he has those muscles in his cheek that, like, some people they can like flex, and you're like, oh man, they're, they're angry. But he has like twenty times the normal man's muscles in his cheeks. He does. That's what I'm saying. Like, it looks like he's like holding it's something in his cheeks. All that when he's yeah, you're fucking right, man. That's a. I gotta. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Apparently the. <laughs> Actor that plays Shinnok, he's in one episode of MacGyver. MacGyver. I might recognize him from that. No, I didn't uh, see him like in anything that I knew of. Yeah, he did some Babylon Five stuff. Mm. He's he's a German actor. He's done like 140 movies oh. that are in German. He looks but like he owns like an air liner. He does also star in a movie starring Lee Van Cleef. I don't know what that means. We had QB. It's a Rogue One. Can't remember the name of it. Sabata. Sabata. Warwick Davis plays. So, so Malibu. Is, we had something about Mataro. Yeah, Mataro. We'll talk about. Which is great. So um, he was an American Gladiator. Malibu. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You were saying Malibu. Malibu. I know what the fuck you were talking about. And then he said American Gladiator. I'm like, oh, motherfucker. That's him. Yeah. I, I had no idea. Yeah. But he's also in. Um, he's in a few like FMV video games from back in the nineties, which are terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, yeah, baby. Yeah, there was a series called Terror Tracks where he was basically playing Solid Snake. Okay. Um, <laughs> But, like, do you mix Solid Snake and Supernatural? Like, he'd go after werewolves and stuff. Um, Sounds fucking sweet. They were, like, audio CDs at first. Uh, werewolf. It was, like, a Choose Your Own Adventure, but it was an audio CD. So it would say, like, if you want to do this, skip to track X. Yeah. If you want to do this, skip to track Y, mm. kind of thing. Uh, but then they actually turned into, like, FMV video games and stuff. He was also uh, the warrior in the Dragon Strike board game. Which is like Dungeons and Dragons, but made into a board game, mm -hmm. and it also came with like a instructional video that also had like the characters doing D and D. It's terrible, but it's a great watch. I highly recommend just watching it, even if, even if you never played the game. But he's also in that as well. Gotcha. So I love that man. Mm. He's in so much that is dear to my heart. Malibu, including American Gladiator. I like when he shoots people with tennis balls. Including Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Including Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Fucking Night Wolf was Indian in the cover. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. They only got one Indian guy in the 90s, I guess. I guess it's him. His, his real name is Lightfoot. Lightfoot. At least that's what he's credited as him. I, so he is IMDb. actually Native like American. A, of Native yeah. descent? Then. I, I think. Assumedly. Yeah. I mean. He also does nothing in the Leave movie. it to 90s Hollywood. I wouldn't put it past him to have Indian in the cupboard and it's just some just just white guy. <laughs> like, <laughs> they would do that kind of shit. So. Have John Wayne as Genghis Khan. Yeah, exactly. So. I, I, but I think they, it really was. Did he's just, he just when yeah. I looked at my MDB, it says Nightwolf, oh real name Lightfoot. <laughs> Lightfoot. And I was like, okay, all right. Feel your animality. That's the other thing about this that animality. sadly, like they don't really. Jax is the closest thing you get to like an introduction to a new character that you get any kind of story and stuff with. And I think it's only because they kill off Johnny Cage in the beginning. True. Yeah. Everyone he's else, also by the nature of his character. Literally tacked onto the team. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I'm here. Yeah, you know, it's, it, he has no rope other than like, don't wear these shit. This no, shit, you know, like if you would have brought Sub Zero instead of uh, Jax, like at least he had an idea of what was going on. Yeah. you could have gotten a feel for his character and stuff. Jax the whole time just like, what the hell? Yeah, where am I? Exactly. I got poop. Yeah. <laughs> that, I, I don't remember that line. But I gotta go to the restroom. I got no toilet paper. Got these metal arms. <laughs> metal hands. <laughs> metal hands. <laughs> insinuating that normally he would just wipe his ass with his hand. I guess. Well, there's the water there. You wipe your ass with your hand and then just wash your hand like, off. Like, while they were fighting, is that what he was dealing with? You know? Like, maybe. Because then Sonya went Yeah, yeah, he never fight. comes into that fight. That's probably why he's got so much energy and he beats up that monster from behind so much. That's why he's, pu yeah, he's punching from behind. That way if you get asked, what's Dude, that? Could you imagine if you were, like, you went around, like, one of these dunes because, you know, everything's merging. Like, God, I got shit. You squat down, you're shitting, and one of those fucking monsters pops out of a statue. You're like, no! And you fucking trying to run. <laughs> I don't know what's up with those things. I don't know that one. Uh, I mean, I think they're just trying to make like this CG on that was out shit world. Too. Yeah, it's sure. even worse than the, the those because it was like bright. Was they should have yeah. saved that money and used it for the final. Fight. It was like was there, okay. It had like this? the texture of a titan. We have mentioned a lot of the CG. Was yeah. there any CG that was like that was pretty good? <sighs> the. Um, <laughs> this lady who Ooh, you guys are like Jesus thing that was pretty good Sub-Zero is like sucking up the water in yeah, the, in the, the I do like that Okay. The, the water, that one was good 
uh, the animation and stuff. Um, yeah. That was good. The balls. Look at this. It is so bad. Look at this. Hey, you know what? I appreciate its transparency and it's like thin. It's like a membrane. But it's like, I don't know. It's like, it doesn't have skin. Like, is it meant to be like a Hulk version of reptile or something? I don't know. Like, this is like the reptile, but the bull or something. I don't know. I play a lot of Mortal Kombat, and that is ringing no bells. I mean, yeah. Look at that fucking And thing. I even ran around in that world and stuff. Blink! You know, Jesus! In some other, uh... Well, it doesn't have any eyelashes or anything, Eric. Blink, motherfucker! Which is a skull and muscles. And then it just gets sucked it into the earth. It just is like, I'm going back to hell, bye! Like, I don't know why, how it died. It didn't die. In the last frame, it just disappeared. Oh, yeah, oh, it yeah, didn't it sink down. It just stopped and blipped out of existence. Yeah, the editor could have cut before that. You would have understood what happened, but they had to hold on to it. It's just like in um, a team in T3 when he falls into the water. Like, you could have just cut before. But no, you have to have him fall and to have no effect. I don't remember that. <laughs> All right, so what about when Nightwolf turns back into a man? That looks okay, right? I don't know. I need to rewatch it. It looks better than the other stuff, doesn't it? I love how he catches the camera. He's yeah. like, oh, God. I mean, it's, it's a thousand it's, times worse than, like, American Werewolf in London, which is 20 years before this movie. Yeah, but that compare looks, it to the rest of the looks, movie. I feel like that looks pretty viable. It's because it's so dark. Yeah. It's the only reason. That's how you do He's it. He's dark as fuck later, Rick. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. I think it works relatively well. And then it's just... All right, that was not great. I don't know. Maybe the last shot is a little wonky, but I think the first they part They don't is have good. enough light on his face. <clears throat> pretty cool, huh? It's my end of battle. It definitely sounds like Christmas later in the beginning. There's definitely yeah. some... Yeah, well, you guys said that. You're like, he's not Christian. I'm like, I know that. I'm just... No, you my were thing, like, is he Christian Slater? You no. Picked up, you picked up your phone? <laughs> I said, is that it? Because uh, when you said, like, he sounds like Christian Slater, I was trying to figure out who does he sound like. Because he sounds like someone. I just don't know who it is. But... Uh. See, I, I'm glad that we watched this one. Because I feel like watching this one... <laughs> oh my gosh, that shot again. ...sets us up so that the next Mortal Kombat movie that's coming out is going to be so good. Right? there's nothing yeah. like... It, it can't be worse. You can't watch that movie after watching this one and be like, what the fuck were they thinking? You know? The only way they can fuck up worse is by not having the song. Right? Yeah. Which, I don't know, like, do you have the song or do you, like, remix the I mean, they the already song? remixed the song in the trailer. And I like that, though. Yeah, but you have to have it up once, you know? Like do people you, are gonna be waiting for it. I, I hold it off until the fucking do you hold third it act. Do you do like this an intro, do, 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 and then you do, do it and like reminisce of it with different type of music throughout the rest? I, I mean, it's not to... the exact same track. I probably re-record it, but there's got to be a moment like when things are getting the hype and you just hear that kind of low. Like, combat. Well, no, it, it will get to that, but it has to have that dun 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 dun. dun you know, thing that happened right before Shang Tsung and Liu Kang fight. That's really good. I'm just, I don't want to get too, because like, I know Rick and I were like Castlevania for one, right? Yeah. Like, we're talking about like, man, there's some really good Castlevania songs, but they never use them. And we're like, why the fuck do they use them? You the, know? The worst case scenario is Highlander 4 or 5, when they play Who Wants to Live Forever, but it's not Queen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is a shitty ass cover band, and it's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. They Taking like right an iconic song for this movie, that's a great song and a great movie, and then putting in a terrible movie and making it a terrible song. That's the worst case scenario. See the trailer though for the new one. I like. I was like, bum 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 bum. Like it was slow. It was deeper, but it was still hitting. Like, oh damn, it's the Mortal Kombat theme right there. I hear it. No, not that one, Calvin. Damn it. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm excited to see what they do with that because even Jack's already that we saw in there. Like, I think he's already good. He's on the right track for the lore already because. Like, we, we see in the trailer, yeah. like, what happens, you know? Yeah. So, I'm I mean, excited for that. Aaron, they could straight up just steal the scene that I have right here, put in that movie, I'd be like, you fucking geniuses. What if the whole movie is the story of Annihilation, yeah. but they do it better? Yeah. <laughs> that would be like, great. If the bad guy becomes mortal, a god comes out and says the fate of the earth will be decided as it should be, in, and then they cut him off, and they start, like, a... Like they a little, just cut to this Literally, scene. they put a boombox down <laughs> and hit the button. <laughs> mortal! You know? Oh, my God. Uh... I know we're round, round down. I just gotta watch this again. Fine. Yeah. Because this motherfucker, like, took Liu Kang's victory from him, you know? He's like, dude, he won Mortal Kombat. The 10th. We're good for a generation. He's like, no, I'm doing something. There's a legend. I'm taking it away. It's you, motherfucker. You took it away. You beat my animality. What do I got? <gasps> You're bleeding. There's consequences. Mortal Kombat comes back. 
What do That's you... why in the very beginning when that seal breaks, it fucking reforges at the end, Aaron. Why? Because Mortal Kombat is because the, the gods came. Why did the gods show decided? Because they were like, hey. What are you doing? Do you think they should? Yeah, but I mean, they didn't care before it seemed. Yeah, but he know? was going to directly intervene. Like he's is not ready to come out and be like, "Motherfucker, I'll take care yeah, of this." Yeah, they, they intervened yeah. because they found out Shinnok was involved yeah. and stuff. I think that's one like of the rules. I they can't do that. I mean, the thing that he was saying when Raiden was asking him questions, like oh, mortals right. can change their fate. You know, yeah. we, we're not going to interfere with that. Yeah. As that, soon as Shinnok started to interfere yeah. directly, that's when they stepped in. Cal was one hundred percent right. Raiden yeah. says, "Why has this been allowed?" That's what he says. <clears throat> and then they Which, said, like, that was him not answering the question. We yep. cannot interfere in the lives of mortals or yeah. something. Yeah. And, and he was about to interfere. They come out, hey, motherfucker, we got solid mortals. Mortals decide this shit, not yeah. gods. Origami, bitch! Mortal combat. They folded him up like a piece of paper. Did, yeah, they just said, ah. And the thing about this movie, if there are not many of them, but the highs feel so high so because high. they are surrounded by so many lows. <laughs> yeah, the so highs low. are just are just normal. So, yeah, but some of the lows are high. See, they I wrap all the way around the scale. You gotta be high for them to be highs. I mean, speaking of wrapping all around the scale, that the Scorpion Sub Zero fight when he like they just like spin around each other is awesome. Where's it at? <laughs> After, After this, my my favorite might be Sindel jumping and spinning around to face Raiden. Who's right there? Too bad you <laughs> will die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're right. That's pretty no, good. The Scorpion Sub-Zero fight I liked. Um, the smoke fight is fun. Okay. I really like f- the Cyrax and the goons fighting, like yeah. that section, because Sonya Blade fighting all those guys was really good. I like that one mm-hmm. a lot. Yeah, here it is. Like, this is a high-low, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, Definitely. Like that's just fucking great and stupid. It's well, like I'm not kidding. I'm not trying to be a, make a joke. I equally think it's stupid and love it at the yeah. same time. I feel like Absolutely. what happened is he went to flip him. Yep. He's like, I'm gonna counter him by yep. doing a Reflip. spinning drop kick. Yeah. And then he's like, I'm gonna counter him by jumping, spinning, yeah. and landing on top of this bitch. It was a re double flip. Yeah. It was a counter counter. It's a counter for a counter. So I don't know. This and is the silly reason thing. I say that Jade is a triple agent. Yeah, I was getting, I was wondering. She shows up and she's like, I'm gonna sex you in the snow, in the desert, right? And he's like, Ooh, this is great, but it's too good to be true. Ah, uh, actually I was this is one of the white angles things. So she kind of she flipped there, right? And then she's working with our crew, all right? And then she flips again, right? So she starts as one thing, then another thing, and another thing. That's triple agent. I don't think it's no, how if triple agent works. If she's involved in the testing, if she's testing him, then yeah. She should be on his side if she's trying to continue his. Yeah, but see, she was she, he didn't he, she was using his ignorance against against him by pretending she was on the other side. Also, by talking about this silly thing, that, that's your sec, that's your third test, right? First test was the courage thing, right? Yeah, like doing the thing, whatever the uh-huh. dream thing. Then you had the one where it's like, oh, look at me. Yeah. And then she flips, and then there's the whole thing of like, if, you, if you're gonna beat Shao Kahn, and you can't even beat me, like, and then they that's test not a test. Like, it's a test. It's and not. He beats her, and then she goes. Ha, ha, ha. Ridiculous. Ah! <laughs> 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 I wish I could have seen the transition. You know, spend some money on that. Like, do the, do the whole, like, ah, you didn't see my eyebrows were like this! Ah! You know what's fucking crazy is, like, that's dramatic, like the eyebrow thing, but for Shang Tsung in the first movie, he could just do that. That's true. His eyebrows changed way more than hers did, and hers is a fucking makeup effect. Dude, that guy's face yeah. could just, you're like, mine! You know? Soon is mine. Yeah. They are mine forever! He's so fucking good. So, Calvin, what was your final thoughts on this movie? <laughs> Did you like the last one? And what do you thought of this one? It's horrifically enjoyable. <laughs> Man, I had a lot of fun today. It's, it's just, it's a movie that's like... Uh, I know I the like, first one way more. I like the first one way more. Yeah, I The first one is definitely so much better. Like, like yeah. it's standing on its own. Yeah. Not being associated with this movie mm-hmm. at all, it's like it's a pretty serviceable action yeah. movie from the nineties. Like I straight this up, this one is, yeah. is. And there's more story in the first one between the fights, oh, and as yeah, to why they're is. fighting. There's character development, and there's character except that one time where they go directly from one fight directly to the next with nothing in between. Remember that? I mean, um, there's a lot of yeah, like I guess combat tournament movies that yeah. do that. Mm-hmm. Like Bloodsport <laughs> does that. Yeah. Enter the Dragon does that. Like, that's a thing. If you want to have fights in your movies, 
you know, you got to show a lot of fights. The other thing with that too one was guy like, versus one guy for the whole thing. The other thing with the first one was like they were in a tournament. So at a point when you're like one fight to the next fight to the next fight, it makes sense because like well we're in the middle of the tournament right now, so we're gonna see some fights. Yeah. But then they stop and then they have some other shit going on. Yeah. Then they have the Goro stuff. Then they have some other shit going on. Then they go back to fighting Goro. Yeah. You know. And then it's like okay, even though we need to kill Shang Tsung, we need some story elements here. Let's yeah. drop some lore. Reptile fight. More shit. Final fight. You know. Like I agree. Welcome. It's, it's, it's yeah. kind of paced out where it's like sometimes like this one. There's like a fight, and then there's a fight, but there wasn't anything in between really. It was just enough of like, let's let's do this. I'll help you, okay? And then yeah, we go to Cyrax, and we go to the next one. And you know, there's plenty to to laugh at and to hate on with this movie. But in terms of the stuff I really did like compared to the first one, the first one had some weak fighters for me. Like Sonya Blade's fighter was, you know, she's a great actress, not a good fighter. Uh, Katana also did not perform very well in the first one. Whereas she had a fight in this one, she performed way better. Sonya Blade is ten times better in this one. Oh, yeah. I personally, yeah. even though some choreography choices I don't agree with, definitely visual effects and stuff like that, there's not a weak performer in this movie in terms of actually fighting other than Raiden, but that's why you get Darth Maul. Yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. That's why you cut his hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's exactly why. It's because exactly why. Ray Park wouldn't have been able to fight with a wig on. Yeah, it's like, I can't stay on. And, like, you could have had uh, Shao Kahn fight in the skull mask, and then you could have had whoever you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, but the dude, like, sold his hits amazingly. Yeah. You know? And the guy that played Jax could sell a hit, too. Yeah. But some of these, oh, my God, uh, some of these shots of Liu Kang and him, they, they just feel Look at his muscles. real. But, like, he does that and flips it. Like, that's that guy. Yeah. You know? yeah. That's Liu Kang. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's fucking great, man. Woo, yeah. That's some good shit. Like no. I, you know, I I'm sure that when this movie came out, it got panned, and people were like, "Man, I worked real hard on that." I, I loved doing those fights. Three percent like, Rotten Tomatoes. Like you already looked. Wow, damn. I was but, curious. But three percent. I have to praise the stunt team for what they did. You know, everything else doesn't work, but the stunt team did. No, yeah. The music in this too. is not also not as good. Dude, as the Sonya person. Blade has some of my favorite moves yeah. in this movie of some of the shit she Hell does, yeah. and she got so many more fights in this movie she than she did in the first movie. Yeah. First movie, I complained because like they only let her fight Kano, and then they made her a damsel in distress. Yeah, that's it. It was bullshit. And the whole point of it was like, hey, you need to be able to say you need help, but she only got one fight, and then she was like, I need help because <laughs> she was caught by Shang Tsung, you know. Yeah. I mean, after her fight with uh, what was her Lena? Is that her name? Melina. Melina. Melina in the in the mud. Yeah, after that, and then the demon came out, like, Jax came to her rescue there, too. Yeah. Sure. But, but like, she that beat was like Melina. A, yeah, yeah, she did, did beat Melina, yeah. But, like, she fought all those one guys, you know, defeated that. She, ultimately, she defeated Cyrax, kind of, but she worked together a little bit with Jax. Well, she's getting double teamed. Yeah. Um, and then, like, so fair. there's the Cyrax, the bad guys there. There's Melina fight that she got to fight. Then there's the Air Mac one. Yeah. But, like, she does some really good stuff there. But she also needs help because she gets 2 yeah. and one but then she also does her cool, like, little flip, comes up, punches yeah. them, comes back down. Like, it's, Once it's back to one-on-one, she wins. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, there's just some really cool things that at least we get to see her do some cool shit. Um, Jade is okay. She didn't do a whole lot. Yeah, she doesn't do much. <laughs> you know. Sindel, like, I think costume-wise looked pretty good. Hair, like you said, wasn't white enough. But they also just nod towards, like, well, this is a character in there. And there's a lot of weird lore stuff in Mortal Kombat. Super weird. You know? That, like... All right, well, how do you do this and take this into this and make it a story? And when do we introduce characters? So it can't be super easy, but I think they could have done some better things. Cut, cut a few characters back or whatever you need to do, you know? What I love about the way how Liu Kang finishes this with his back flip kick to the face is I think they do it in three shots. And it's not like three cameras of the same dangerous stunt. It's They set up, they do this shot because it's angled this way. Then they have to do the camera over here, re-angle it so that it sells. Do the same thing again. They do it three times. It's awesome. Like there, it's supposed to sell because it goes over his head, yeah. right? Yeah. He doesn't react fast enough, but it happens so quick that you don't you don't look. And we're gonna see it again. Here. Yep. Brand new shot has to re-angle. He's now pointing this way more over his. You know that one sold more. Much and then reaction. another one. Like they gotta do that. Like I do it three times. You know. And you know they did it like six times per angle. That's like a, I feel like like an anime thing or like a... It's an Eastern. An Eastern kind of like filmmaking aspect yeah. of it. Because like lots of times, like especially like Jackie, like it's the thing where like you don't cut on the punch for one, but also like you show it at three angles and it yeah. gives you more of an effect for it. Or yeah. like especially on, uh, he calls it pronunciation, uh, like commas and periods. You do it on the ones that need to like 
sell. Like, you know, you can go bang, 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 but this one needs to be the one that you show twice because people need to bridge it to the next shot and it hurts, you yeah. know, as opposed to block, block. So, so like, this, you do this, this is the and final you move. see the punch, and then it cuts over here, and you see the punch again, and then it continues on. Yeah. What the hell just happened? It is it, weird it, that he it, ends it without, like, one of his moves. Like, in the old one, and the first movie, like, it's not really one of his moves, but at least it kind of implies the fire. Yeah. It's a nod towards it, right? Yeah. This one he just does like a backflip kick, and I guess kills him, because then his like, yeah, I guess then his little dragon thing flies out. What was that? There's like a weird thing where it's just like a bright light for a second. I think it's just this that light on set. Okay. <laughs> well, there's a light. It's probably that him. light back there, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Hit the rewind for Dean. They just didn't to have like show the... the smoke around him. You know. There's just a giant spotlight it's, back there. It's on the third kick, right after the third kick. One, two, three. And then, what's this? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was his. It's like, an accident. <laughs> it looks like they like turned the camera on as the guy's like holding it, and I then it's left it in the shot. What it's supposed to be well, is a I, shot from uh, Kane, uh, Luke Kane? Han's perspective of yeah. his head like flying it's back to be, like, and seeing stars. I think it's Luke yeah. Kane flipping, and you're seeing the light behind him from the flip, but it's not zoomed out enough, and it doesn't go on long enough for you to have a clue what the hell's going Just on. Just watch it in real but time. But I think it's Luke Kane flipping out. Hit, 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 weird thing. That's Luke Kane. Yeah, that's Luke Kane. I don't know why it's there. It's I don't know what up. they're doing for it, but that's Luke Kane flipping, which is a weird shot. It's, feels like somebody like had like, they're in their non-linear editor, and they're like cutting stuff, and they just kind of move it off to the side. And they accidentally moved it on top of the footage here. And they left it there. And then they rendered it, and they're like, we don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've had that happen. I've had that happen. I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I can talk about this movie all day, but we are in danger of doing so. Does anybody have anything else? I, I hate the Villosphere. I'm sorry. No, I'm just very excited <laughs> for the next one. No, I'm definitely well, yeah, excited me for too. the new Mortal Kombat. Watch right here. What kind of characters and stuff they're going to have in that, like... Yeah, but it, will it, the quality be too high for me to really enjoy it? I don't think, I don't know. I mean, maybe, because I hope it, not. there's also that one dude in it. What's his name? The the guy who's, like, he was at, like, on that farm, like, just stabbing people. Huh? Oh, the, yeah. the, the older, like, Asian guy. Ujio. He's, like, in a bunch of... He was oh, in Westworld. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that guy. Now, I mean, the thing is, is that the better it is, the higher the quality, the less forgiving I'll be. Yeah. You know? I'm so forgiven, Definitely. because some of this is dog shit. But some of it, I'm just like, yeah, you know? Sure. That's the thing. Like, the more serious you, like, as, you know, I talk about this in The Walking Dead a lot. The Walking Dead demands that you think this is real, and you put yourself in these shoes. And when they do something stupid, you're very unforgiving with it. Whereas, opposed if you're watching Shaun of the Dead, they do something stupid, who cares? <laughs> you know? It's funny. It's I get funny. you. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see how they do, because it'd be, at the very least... It won't be this bad, but it'd be just like, that was all right. You know? But you can't look at it and be like, what the hell were they thinking? I hope we eat our words when we watch it. You know? True. I'm looking forward to it because yeah, I, I have high hopes for I'm it. I'm optimistic. Yeah. yeah. I've had a Mortal Kombat for a little while. They had like that Mortal Kombat like, series on YouTube or something yeah. like that that was kind of cool, but it was much more grounded. The, mm -hmm. the Barakas, the Tarkatans that we had here, Calvin, yeah. like those, I, I talked about them before, but like they like had blades shoved into their arms and shit. Like that was. It was a well, well grounded. There's no outworld shit. Like it's just like these are weird people. Aren't like, they like subterranean or some shit? Like they're uh, from it's Earth. Goro is subterranean. Goro. Yeah. Oh, okay. The sh it, the show the show cut. And as far as storytelling in Mortal Kombat, Kombat goes, like back when this was made, like the storytelling in Mortal Kombat is batshit crazy. Didn't make a lot of sense. Yep. And it but wasn't in nine. I feel like it actually told a good story. Sure. So like now they have some more stuff to work with. And Mortal Kombat one, two, and three. Like, you did, the only stories you got was, like, when you beat the game, yeah. is either, A, you look at a bio for a character, which was in the game, right, which you read that, or when you beat the game, it would just give you, like, a wall of text of, like, here's this character's ending for the game. Yeah, because it started as an arcade game. Yeah, there wasn't any kind of, like, storyline. The storyline for it was you had these ten tournament characters, and you go up the line, you beat them all, you beat Shao Kahn or whoever it was, and you win, you know? Like, that was it. So, taking... All that information of lore and where, like, Sindel's Katana's mom and she's in, uh, brought back from the dead or, you know, all these different things. It's like, what the hell? What? So you read all that and you try to make a movie out of those, you know? Like, even this movie did way better job than Super Mario Brothers. As far as, like, taking to the lore, it does. Because lots of it, sometimes you're like, what the hell was that? And, like, Eric looks at me, I'm like, I don't know what that one was. 
facts. Yeah. But he looks at me other times, I'm like, well, that was this, and this makes sense because this does happen. You know, like, Sindel and Katana were from another world. Uh, I think it's over the E, I forget the name of it. But, like, they end up coming here, he kills her, he resurrects her, and stuff like that. She killed herself. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Which, but he's also blamed for it because he did all this shit, right? Yeah. But there's there's stuff like that in the games, and that's kind of the lore and the story. But then you get, like, a giant statue, like, picture that eats Jade, and I'm like, I don't remember that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But Reptile in the first movie was, like, a statue, and then he, like, wasn't a statue. But I also thought that Yeah, he, and then he went inside of a statue and became Reptile. Yeah, so I also <laughs> thought when he turned from a statue to a Reptile that yeah. it was, like, he was pretending to be it because he could be whatever he wanted to be kind of thing. But this one was just a statue that just broke apart like fucking Ghostbusters dogs, you know, and just, which looked 100% better than these things did. <laughs> and then tried to eat someone. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the next movie. Guys, thank you very much for watching this reaction to Mortal Kombat Annihilation. That's two Mortal Kombat movies down. We're waiting for the third, the reboot. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss it. I love you guys. We'll see you next time. No, now you killed him all. I'm not doing the effect, it's too. I don't have that money. <laughs> <laughs>